am on my way to see Lisa. Lisa is a busy mom and she's got a couple of kids. Lisa called me because she's feeling overwhelmed by all her stuff. And she would just like me to go in there and force her to purge. You know what, if I can be a little bit or more organized, that would be heaven because all I do is trip over stuff, move boxes, move bags. I'm very excited. I'm very enthusiastic. I'm hoping for miracles. Hi, Helen. Hi. Hi, Lisa Clark. Great to nice, meet you. Nice meeting you. Come on in. Thank you. Can I take your coat? That'd be great. It's cold out there. Uh, Smells like you've been baking. <laughs> oh, no. Candle, probably. <laughs> is this where you eat normally? or No. This uh, is usually got more stuff on it. But uh, So you cleaned up for the organizer? I know. Isn't that bad? You broke the first rule. I know. I but to tell you that. Okay. You can't so. make it look worse than it does. <laughs> All uh, right. So this is where you eat. We eat here every day. Okay. We eat as a family every day. Wow. And we have a lot of toys. So this must be the playroom. Yes, we changed our living room and made this the playroom, so and you I can't. Have just the two kids. Do yeah. You don't do daycare or anything no, like that. No, no, this is just my own children's toys. They're very lucky children. That's Jake. Um, he's coloring there. <laughs> You're talking. This is, this is white. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah. So yeah, there's just lots of toys, just for the two of them, though. Too many toys here. I'm not sure what's going on, but I'm going to be able to help her once I get to the bottom of it. This is Maddie's room. This is gorgeous. <laughs> it's yeah, a it's little girl all over it. I have their going home outfits I framed. You're very sentimental, I can tell. I'm very sentimental, which is my problem with not being able to throw anything out. But okay, so your issue is that you're attached to things and have trouble letting go. I have a lot of trouble letting go, and I have yes. too much of stuff, too. Okay, for your space. For my space. Oh, here? Yeah, let me just... Whoops. Oh, God, that's... <laughs> We're okay now. Move all the stuff. And this is the basement. Okay. So tell me what you're using this space for, because I see a desk, a couch, and more. More toys. More toys. More toys. Um, Greg works from home. He works in this space? So, well, yeah, we tried to organize it. <laughs> okay, all right. Do the kids play down here? No. Oh, they don't? Not so really. this is sort of spillover storage yes. for... Yes, oh, the storage. idea was the kids okay. can play down here and we could come right. down and all enjoy the space. And what space? There's no space to there is enjoy. There no space, no. And we have a bathroom in there. Okay. Oh my... What is all this? Lisa, more toys! Those are presents? Oh. Not for your kids, I hope. Right. <sighs> Some are. <laughs> oh. And behind the TV, we have bins. Oh, that's the TV? That's the TV. Oh my god, I didn't even see it. It's huge. It's huge. All right, what? There's. Oh. Oh my. Yeah, that's oh our. My. What is all that stuff? It's closed for the kids to grow into. It, there's a dresser back there, there's old pictures. I'm feeling like there's no space for you and your husband to just be able to get some work done or even relax and watch TV because the kids have taken over every room in this house. I mean, why do you think you never come down here? Well, now, because there's nowhere to sit. It's a mess. There's, I have nowhere to put anything. That's a shame. We gotta change that for you. That would be great. Yeah. Okay, Lisa. That's Thank so you. I want you to be well rested. Okay. Don't do any more cleaning up though, okay? <laughs> okay. I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna help you go through all of this stuff. Okay, okay. that sounds great. Nice to see you. Nice meeting you. When I walked into Lisa's space, I felt really tired because all I could see was toys, toys everywhere. It's too much. When there's a lot of clutter around, it's hard to think straight. It's hard to get in touch with who you are. And for Lisa, it's not even just that. There's reminders of the kids everywhere. What Lisa truly needs from me, whether she knows it yet or not, is a space for Lisa. Okay, you have a big chalkboard here? Yes. Can this go? Um, 
They don't need as much as they have. I know that. They have a lot, but it's hard getting rid of all this stuff. So just the two kids. Do yeah. you ever do daycare or anything no, like that? No, no, this is just my own children's toys. These are very lucky children. The kids have taken over every room in this house. There needs to be boundaries between adult space and kid zone. Here's my plan for Lisa's living and dining room area. The first thing I'm going to do is pull out all of these toys. Bye-bye. Have a clear space here. Then I'm going to move all this mess and junk that's taken over the dining room area so the dining room table has some breathing space. I'm going to bring in a storage unit, just like that, so we have a place for the toys. And I'm going to bring in a couple of drawers and position them in a way that will define the toy area. So we have two clearly defined areas now. We have a dining room space for the adults and we have a play area for the toys. Oh, I love my kids to death. We had a really hard time getting pregnant and we had to go through a lot to get pregnant. And uh, four months after I had Jake, I got pregnant with Maddie, just naturally. <laughs> it's just, it's fun every day. Even on the bad days, <laughs> it's still fun. You know, it's not like at work when you have a bad day, you can just walk away from people. You can't walk away from two little children. You have to give yourself time out sometimes, I think. It's, it's harder. It's much harder to be a stay-at-home mom than any other job in the world. Hey, guys. We're helping Lisa today. So we're going to just go in there, and it's all about the purge today. So let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Lisa? <laughs> okay, so here's what we're doing, hen. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to put all the big stuff together and anything that's similar okay. we'll put together. And then that'll help you see how much of each item you have. Okay. And help you make the decision about how many you need of each item. How are you feeling right about now? <laughs> I'm getting a little nervous. Are you? Well, yeah. I what don't know. What are you know. nervous about? I'm just... I know I have to get rid of stuff and I'm just uh -huh. attached to certain things. Yes. 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 No. Yes. Here's a little secret. You can't hold the stuff. Notice how I was holding them up and saying keep toss? If I let you lift them up and make a decision, you would immediately form an even more at a larger attachment to it. Oh. Okay, it's just a little tip. Don't okay. handle the merchandise. Okay. <laughs> okay. No, that has to stay. It has to stay? Do Didn't, the kids play with it? No. Why does it have to stay? Okay, you can go. Care to share? No, it's okay. You can it's go. It's okay. Thank you. Okay, guys. And my only question was that... Lisa in Greg's basement right now doesn't have any usable space. So the first thing I want to do is remove this television unit. I know there's all kinds of stuff back there. Just move that all out of the way. I'm going to take this oversized desk right out and replace it with a more contemporary functional unit. So they have their workspace here and they have a nice comfortable space to hang out on this side and it's a kid-free zone. We have a huge job ahead of us and not a lot of time. All right, let's start with the big toys and then we have some more room in here once we make some decisions. Right. All righty. <laughs> Easy for me to do. Okay. What's this? It is a magnet and chalkboard. Okay, you have a big chalkboard here? Yes. Can this go? Um, what are you thinking? Well, it was just cute to have one downstairs. <laughs> yeah, cute to have one downstairs, but downstairs is your space now, right? That was the vision. This is a big play area for the kids. Okay. Okay, I can go. If I find that We've tried a lot of different areas, and a person is still sentimental about every single item, then I know that tough love has to come into play here. Okay. That one they still play with. 
still play with. Okay. Somewhat. Not a lot, but they still play with it. That one we have to talk to Greg about because that was Jake's first toy, first Christmas toy. Is it really Greg's decision? It's our decision. Yeah. Would he have a problem with you making this decision on your own? I don't want to make this decision on my own. Okay, seriously, okay. Lisa. Okay, we'll keep it for now and we'll there, come back to your it. Your oldest is two. <laughs> your oldest is two. Yeah. What is going to happen when your oldest is six? Well, at first I thought Lisa was doing great. She was all smiles and jokes and everything, but I've realized now that she uses laughter as a nervous response. And sometimes when she's laughing, she's almost crying. So I think she's having a really hard time. We're clearing out a lot of their toys, so. Do you feel guilty about clearing the toys? Yeah. Why? Because he likes to play with it. So does she now, so. They're gonna notice it's gone <laughs> as soon as they come in. It'll be better for them. They don't need as much as they have, I know that. They have a lot, but. I started getting rid of all this stuff. Well, you know what? You did it. This is 50%. There you go. Awesome. <laughs> Yay! Yay! <laughs> Tomorrow is going to be a really hectic day because we have all the other purging. All we purged today was the toys. That's it. My fear is that she's going to grieve tonight about all the things that she said goodbye to when we leave and the house is quiet. And I hope that she's not hesitant to get rid of things tomorrow. It's up to her. We have two little jackets. Pick your favorite. Okay, set them down and we'll do it after. I can't fit one right now. Pick one right now. Well, Lisa, <laughs> it's out of the dark hole now and it's into the light. Lisa is having a really hard time letting go of things. This is Maddie's. This is the monkey. This is Sting. She's especially sentimental around anything to do with the kids. But if she's going to reach her goals, we're down to the wire now. She's got to make some tough decisions, and she's got to let go of the kids' stuff. First thing today, those toys are coming out of the bathtub. I'm going to talk to Lisa about stockpiling gifts. Lisa? I'm just really worried about this. When I get something on sale, I buy it in advance for Christmas and stuff. Mm. But here's the thing. When you're giving your kids a gift, mm -hmm. what would work really great to maintain the system that we're going to set up for you is the one in, one out rule. OK. So when you give them a new toy, or even just before you give them a new toy, one toy has to go away. Okay. So you get a balance there. It's great to buy things on sale, but they're accumulating and accumulating, and eventually they're going to spill out of the bathtub, out of the bathroom, and invade more of your living space. Right. Hey, Mom, how you doing? I brought you guys pancakes. I oh, you just, you're just made them. Much. Oh, my gosh. And they're, they're too hot. hot. Wow. They're delicious. Yes. Who wants to try yeah. one? Yes? Are they coming? Oh, wow. Same. Getting rid of kids' clothes is tough because of the memories. But once they're outgrown, they pile up and they turn into clutter. The thing to keep in mind is not only are they taking yeah. up valuable space, but they could be of real use to somebody else. What was this? That was your Christmas. First Christmas? Yeah. Okay. And what was this? That was her first Christmas, too. She had two outfits. One for a family. <laughs> okay. Gonna have to pick one, hon. First Christmas. Oh. It's more special when there's just one. <sighs> I guess I have to leave that because yeah. Grandma bought her that one. Yeah. Her little jacket. Okay, we kept one little jacket, so let's pick one. This was one. a bigger one that was made for. Thank you. <laughs> no. You know what? Come on. Okay, Lisa. We have two little jackets. Pick your favorite. You got to pick your favorite. This, you don't want to weigh her down the rest of her life, dragging around this container full of her baby stuff. Let's pick a favorite. Okay, set them down and we'll do it after. 
I can't fit one right now. Pick one right now. I can't. I can't right now, honestly. I want you to be clear on who you're saving these for. I'm saving it for me because I appreciate all the work they did to make it for my children. I probably will keep it until I die. <laughs> You'll take it to the old age home, <laughs> yeah. clutching your bin. Yeah, maybe. But to me, they mean a lot. But you realize you only have so much space. And if you're going to keep this, then you're going to have to sacrifice other stuff. So is it worth it to you? Yes. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Anything kid-related is a block for her. I can only push so much. But that's okay. She's done well, and I can work with what we've got left. Now we're going to brighten up the basement with some paint, create a functional contemporary workspace, and a place to lounge and watch TV. Okay. This is going to be a kid-free zone. All right. Have a great time at Mom's, and don't worry about a thing. Thank okay? you. Okay? It's going to look amazing. Okay. All right. This is amazing. Oh my goodness. This must be the playroom. Yeah, when I first walked into this house, the playroom was a minefield of toys. Kids are too small to go to. It was tough. Oh, okay. I don't want to make this decision on my own. But we purged. I've given her the tools now. I would love to see her do a regular purge every six months, every year. This is always going to be a challenge for her, so she needs to keep on top of this. Now we'll have a space for kids and a space for adults. She's not here yet, but she's going to be here any second now. I can't believe we've actually got all of this stuff done. It's amazing. I think she's going to be pleased. I think she's really going to like it. Come in, come in. Oh my goodness. Before, the toys were spread from one end of the room to the other. Because Lisa rose to the challenge and purged, I was able to create a fun play area for the kids and a functional dining room. So look at this. I want to show you how we've got these labels, not just with words, because I know you guys are too little still to read, but pictures as well, so they can figure out what's inside. This is amazing. And I was thinking, well, you know, you're going to put a unit up, but all the big things are still going to be sitting around. This is great because they can actually see everything, too. They can pull it down. We've labeled where it goes. There's the farms. Here's all the balls. We want to keep to the one in, one out rule. So for every toy that comes in, one toy has to leave. And a great way of doing that is to say to the kids, let's make room for all your new Christmas gifts or all your new birthday gifts. And let's take some away to, to kids that don't have. And I think it's a good thing to teach kids at a young age to just give so they can get. But I want to show you the curtains. Okay. Okay? So all you do is you untie this, so then when you sit in the dining room... You don't see the toys. No toys. I think it's, it's beautiful. I think that's good. Okay. <laughs> Holy moly. <laughs> See, what we thought we'd do is this was this is your work area and that's your relaxation area. Yes. Clearly defined just by looking at it, but it's an adult space. Yes. That's beautiful. And Greg could put his laptop here when he's on the computer. You've got your computer there. Look over here. These are all your photo albums. We took them out of hiding. Uh -huh. A place for your magazines in here. The desk is beautiful, and uh -huh. it's laid out beautifully. And it doesn't take up space. Like, you still have room in front, so if the kids wanted to play there while you were on the computer, they could still have space to sit and do something. The kids? Come on, they're two and a half and one and a half. <laughs> this was the place where you could come when they're down for their nap. Oh, when they're, they're just, down for the nap, this is, on, you bring the monitor. The net and you, yeah, you bring the baby monitor down here. I loved my basement before, but it was never of use because of all the stuff. 
It was harder to purge things than I would have thought. I would never have been able to do that by myself. Oh my gosh. It was amazing. And it's beautiful. The house, the house is beautiful.